Hi. Um, today we will uh, be uh, talking about the power of knowledge graphs. So let's uh, introduce. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Ikra, and I am a PhD student at University of Liverpool. My PhD research is about knowledge graphs and information retrieval techniques. I am also a big advocate of open source contributions in Python, and I have contributed to organizations, uh, open source organizations like Sugar Labs in the past. The agenda for today's uh, presentation is uh, that we will be covering the uh, an introduction to knowledge graphs, uh, some examples and applications of knowledge graphs. Uh, what is the current research that is being going out on the on knowledge graphs and what is the future potential in the application of knowledge graphs? So what is a knowledge graph? A knowledge graph uh, is a collection of interlinked description of entities. Here by entities mean real world objects and real world events or abstract concepts. So for instance, uh, a knowledge graph is like a collection of real world objects that are linked with other real world objects in the form of a graph. So it is kind of a representation of real world objects in the form of a graph. Where are knowledge graphs used? So where are knowledge graphs being used or have been used? Knowledge graph is being used these being used at the back end of Google search engine. Uh, Google stores information about real world uh, objects uh, and the descriptions and how they relate with other real world objects in the form of a knowledge graph. And uh, the information is retrieved from that knowledge graph and uh, by the search engine. Then Wikidata data also uses uh, some form of a knowledge graph for storing its information. Knowledge graph, a Facebook social network also take its idea from a knowledge graph. And knowledge graphs are also used in the field of uh, biomedicine for drug repurposing and other uses as well. So let's talk, let's take a small example of a knowledge graph. In this case, uh, we can see a real world object that is the Mona Lisa and we can also see another real world object that is a person that is Leonardo da Vinci so the real world object Mona the Mona Lisa the Mona Lisa's painting is related to Leonardo da Vinci through a relation and the relation is was created by it. so how we are storing this information we are storing this information in the context that Mona Lisa is related to Leonardo da Vinci by the relation was created by. Uh, yes, as another example, so there is another real world object, a person called Bob, and Bob is uh, Bob is related to the Mona Lisa painting through the relation is interested in. So basically, Bob is a person, and it. Bob is interested in the Mona Lisa painting. So we can see there are multiple, the, in this example, entities are represented by circles and the relations between entities are represented by arrows. So real world objects are uh, connected to each other in a knowledge graph by relations. And uh, this is a very small example of how we can store information in a knowledge graph in the form of entities as real world objects and their relations with other real world objects. So the question arises that why do we use knowledge graphs? We are surrounded by real world objects uh, in the form of places, events, things that we use in a daily routine, 
or people we come across so we are surrounded by real world objects or real world events or real world places so these real world objects can be considered as entities in a knowledge graph here we use a short form for a knowledge graph that is kg real world objects are related to other real world objects meaning entities are related to other entities in a kg in a knowledge graph through relations and graphs are a natural way to represent entities as real world objects and the relations with other real world objects and these graphs uh, knowledge graphs can be managed very efficiently there are a lot of graph databases that can be used to store knowledge graphs in a very efficient manner so the next part comes in that where are these knowledge graphs what is our, what are the applications of these knowledge graphs knowledge graphs are used for knowledge sharing for knowledge management they are being used in uh, information retrieval like in search engines for semantic search they can be used for literature uh, for searching uh, for scientific literature uh, for various domains uh, for storing scientific literature and for their manage for for management of the scientific literature as well then uh, an, another application of knowledge graph is in the field of biomedicine especially for drugs for finding new treatments uh, for different diseases for uh, studying the re relationship between different drugs so its application in biomedicine is also a very uh, critical another uh, quite uh, important application of knowledge graphs is in the field of finance for fraud detection uh, for fraud detection for insider trading etc so as an example in this slide we can see um, the google search engine and we have searched for wwe that is world wrestling entertainment so the information that you can see on the right side for this wwe the, so the so the term wwe exists as an entity in google's knowledge graph and um uh, it is a uh, and some description about the entity is being displayed on the right hand side so and so this information is being uh, this information that you see on google search results has been retrieved from google's knowledge graph as well uh, knowledge graph has a very uh, big application in biomedical uh, field as when i mentioned earlier it can it is being used to store electronic medical records it is also being used to store information and uh, vocabulary information about medicine drugs as well um knowledge graphs can be used to study uh fraud detection in banking networks and we can use it for things like uh, for detecting money laundering uh, by studying the network and how one bank account is related to another bank account and basically study the network of different bank accounts and banks in a knowledge graph um let's move on towards what my phd research is about so my phd research about knowledge graphs is in the clinical trial search domain the research my research is directed at automating the manual search process of clinical literature using the concept of knowledge graphs so basically we we can think of it as i am creating a search engine using knowledge graphs for clinical trial articles so and uh, i i am using uh, different python libraries for the implementation of this project what is the future potential um here uh it can they the future potential is that we, uh knowledge graphs can be used for scientific literature search engines they can be used for dna storage management in quantum computing and they can also be used to study human trafficking networks so this is the end of my the uh, end of this presentation and uh, thank you